Hey guys, it's Woody. Once again, uh, coming at you with another EDC um, review. Um, the next thing that I've got <coughs> to review here today, uh, this is something I've been carrying with me for a few years now. Um, and I use it almost daily. Um, what I have is the Leatherman Wave. Um, this is not my first Leatherman, but uh, I, I definitely like this one a lot. Um, I used to, when I was in the Army, I used to carry with me a, a Gerber multi-tool. Um, that one was pretty cool, but this one I think is much better. Um, so let's go over some of the features here. One thing I really like about this Wave is that the knife is accessible without opening it up um, and it is a locking blade as you can see there's the little lock right there so um, you just press that and it closes now on the other side as you see these these little notches here that uh, that tells you that's your serrated blade again easily accessible without opening the, uh, the pliers. Um, also on the outside you've got your file. You've got you know a coarse file, fine file, um, and you know as you can see I've used this also. You know <laughs> it's my everyday tool. Um, and on the other side outside of it is your saw. Um, <laughs> and it's a pretty heavy duty saw guys. Um, it's like double edged, double uh, two rows of teeth. I don't know if I can get that to focus, but there are two rows of teeth there. So, pretty intense. Um, so, that right off the bat is a winner for me. Also, where the knives are, see how it's on this bottom one here? It's, I mean, it's, it's like you can cut with it. Now, on some of the other ones, like the Gerber that I had, the knife was on the outside so the blades here but there's all this so if you're trying to cut something you can't cut flush so I mean it, it was kind of a, a pain this thing is really useful now when you open it up you've got your needle nose pliers and wire cutters in there um, very very good strong sturdy um, <laughs> And I've used these to cut lots of seals on uh, the back of trucks back when I used to, uh, you know, deal with that. Used to cut a lot of seals with these. Um, also, inside here, you've got your can opener slash bottle opener. I think this is actually more of a can opener. And I have used this to open cans. It works. Um, this little piece I'm going to skip for now because I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, you also have scissors. I use these scissors a lot. Um, most of the time I use these to cut my fingernails and then I'll use the file to you know file them down. Um, that's just you know if I can't find my nail clippers uh, that's what I use these for. Um, and then here you have your precision um, screwdriver. You've got Phillips head on one side, flat head on the other. They are interchangeable. And you've got this, uh, I think, I mean, I use this thing as a flat head, like a broad flat head. I think it's actually specified as something else, but that's what I use it for. So, and all of these lock, lock into place. So you can see this here, push this little button down here and everything goes back into place. Now, the cool thing about this tool in particular is this piece right here. As you see, you've got a, your standard Phillips head. Also, it's a uh, two dimensional Phillips head. So it's flat, Let's see if I can put that in there. So it's flat, but it has all of your teeth on there so that's pretty freaking sweet on the other side you have a smaller 
Phillips head. I keep this one in here because it's the one I use the most. But what about, you know, you have like Allen wrenches, star wrenches, um, things like that. Well, this model I ordered with two sets of extra tools. And as you can see, I mean, look at them. I use them. They're all marked up. You can sell. I haven't used that one very much, but for the most part, I use these. Um, and a lot of where these things come in handy is, you know, when working on my guns, um, taking them apart, or you know, just uh, fine-tuning some stuff on there. These these uh, Allen wrenches and these star bits are the most use and and very handy um and I, again i mean you look at it i'm just going to pull out one of the bigger allen wrenches just so it's easier for you guys to see it doesn't look like much but you've got these these points you know and that is your allen wrench you you see right there okay maybe See, there you go. You got a quarter inch and on one side and a six millimeter on this side. So a quarter inch, six millimeter. So, and it just comes out of here, clicks right in there. Um, the one thing, another option that you have with this Leatherman is um, an extension. So, You'll have an extension that comes out of here, and then you put one of these bits into it, which makes it nice for, you know, reaching reaching stuff that you can't really get to with this big thing. Um, so I didn't get that, and there have been a couple of times where I wish I had it, but it is what it is. And all of this, I, I'm not going to show it to you right now because I've got it on my belt, and I'd have to take my belt off to show you. But it all fits just like this in a pouch on my belt. Um, and I've used this thing for years. I used to work maintenance um, and I use this for, you know, most of my jobs. I use this. I didn't have to carry around a big tool bag because it's all sitting on my hip. Um, the one thing now, um, I wish I would have gotten a, a leather pouch with the button because this nylon one the velcro has has worn off the velcro is useless um, it doesn't really do a whole lot of anything right now so I got to figure something out maybe put a rubber band around it or something I don't know to keep it closed but I haven't had any problems with it falling out um, but and also the the leather pouch I don't think has the pocket for your extra tools so that's kind of the uh, the give and take of it and I've tried replacing the velcro um, I, or I just you know super glued some other velcro onto the existing velcro that didn't work out um, because it the glue didn't want to stick to the fabric of the worn out velcro so it just came off so I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out, or maybe I'll just buy a new pouch. Uh, it, but anyway, so that's my review for today of my everyday carry series, things that I carry every single day. Um, and when I get home, I'll have a new item at home. It's waiting for me. I'm really excited about it. So, anyway, um, yeah, I think that's all I got for now. I'm going to go inside and eat because I'm hungry. I just got out of the shower, figured I'd throw this on there. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a while. So, here I am, and there it is. So, reach for the sky, thank a trucker, God bless.